two debuting fighters. And here we go. And we're underway here. Nice low kick. Vasquez with big shots off the bat. Big knee here from Valle. Both these guys choosing to exchange bombs. Trading no shots. Process. Vasquez lands a big punch. You guys are trading shots right in front oh of us. Oh my goodness. What Super a shot landed down. there by Vasquez. Lands a beautiful takedown. Now Vasquez going for the guillotine. Doesn't have anything on it, and they go to side control. He's got to let that go. He's going he's to get those jelly arms. Yeah, Danny Valle looking to be passing into side control here. Still working past that half guard of Vasquez, and now obtained side control. Head's still locked up in that guillotine, but as you mentioned, I don't know if there's too much that Vasquez can really do with that from this position. And Danny had some nasty jiu-jitsu. Vasquez is holding on for dear life, and now he's got full side control. Vasquez does, in fact, let go of that hook, and Valle is going to work. Body pound. shots, body shots, Beautiful body shots. And pound, and they get to their feet. Trading right. bonds, continuing to trade bonds. No feeling out process. Vasquez is against the cage. Shot after Looking shot at here. This fight. Danny Valle, looking for the finish Trading early. Bumps. Going for broke. Trading bombs against the cage. And Valle still pushing forward here. Now backs off. That was a huge sequence for Valle. Super as we double work. A takedown. Now crossing the 140 mark of the very first round. Vasquez looking for that guillotine again, possibly. Now looking Slides for a hook. him down. And he will complete that takedown. Another takedown there for Valle. Shot that takedown from far away and still landed. I mean, this guy is strong. And for the first 30 seconds there, these guys both seemed intent to push the pace, but after about 30 seconds of that, it seems like Valle is the only one who still wants to push that hard and walk forward. Strikes right to the stomach, going for a bulldog choke. Now gets his back, looking to put those two boots in. Now how great would that have been to see a bulldog choke tonight? It looks like he's possibly going for it again. Has back control. We're gonna put those boots in. Oh, he sits him back. Seat belts him, takes his back. Valle looking to get those hooks in. He has the back, but there's Excellent a beautiful sweep. sweep and reversal from Vasquez. Excellent sweep from Vasquez. And now Vasquez is in the dominant position with 40 seconds remaining in this round. Looking to get north-south here. Now working back to side control and crucifix. Oh, going for an He's got an arm bar. Vasquez an has an arm bar. That is deep. That arm bar Looking to deep. end the fight. That arm bar is deep. Valle fighting it. We're going to end this fight. Danny defending. Danny defending. Danny good tap. Close here. That looks very tight. That, that arm tight. is back and out. Valle with unbelievable oh, defense. How did he oh, escape that? How did he do that? How did Valle manage to escape that submission? Went for an anaconda choke. Danny saw what was Nearing coming. Nearing the end of the round here. Unbelievable. What part from Danny? What? Even that arm bar. That arm bar was so deep. So what an unbelievable submission attempt there from Vasquez. He spent a lot of that round on his back and being pushed into the fence by Valle. Finds himself in a dominant position with that arm bar. Valle, unbelievable toughness to work out of it. Zero feeling out process as we go to the replay. Both men exchanging bombs right out the gate. Now this is early in the fight, we see the fighters going back and forth, and again, they're both intent to change and bang here. But as this wore on, Valle did seem to get the better of these exchanges, as we see here along the fence. Pushes him against the cage, landing great blows, scoring points on the scorecard. And so Vasquez, nice. That's nice very good at countering. And, and look at this armbar. Arm bar. That is ouch! A normal man would attack from that, but this guy is no normal man. No, he is built different, is Danny Valle. He's back out here for the second round. And even having survived that submission attempt, possibly ended up on top after that first round on the judges' scorecards. So much action, and it was only round number one. And uh, we see some ice in the corner here. Might delay the, uh, the beginning of this here round. Second round, getting ready to get underway. Vasquez's corner is imploring to him that Valle is tired. Valle is smiling back across the cage. And the official still tending to the, uh, to the ice. It happens. Now it looks like we're ready to get the second round underway. And here we and go. And here we go. Much more measured pace seemingly it's to start this kick. opening round. Low kick. 
And Vasquez counters with a big, big left. That counter left of Vasquez, he threw it twice there, landed the first, and there's another one of them. That is a beautiful straight left hand, and a hook with it. Day's getting hit, but continues to push forward. Pushes Vasquez against the cage. Trading blows along the fence. This has been an action-packed fight so far. Both of these fighters very confident in their hands. Nice high kick and a return kick. Strikes from Danny, and Vasquez and returning those Vasquez. blows. Big high kick from Vasquez. That was blocked from Danny. And a nice rip to the body there from Valle. Returned a spinning, kick. a spinning side body kick from Vasquez. And now Valle jumps on him, pressing him against the fence. Counters from Vasquez. And going for a double A takedown. And now Vasquez is looking for a guillotine. Completes the takedown. Still looking for that guillotine as Vasquez. Well, Valle wisely looks to pass over into side control again, but that leg trapped in, in Vasquez's half guard. And now Danny's gonna be looking to score points with some of those body blows. The crowd's now having warring chances. Gets his here. back, going for a choke, going for a choke. Riding a little bit high though, no boots in, and Vasquez is gonna shimmy him off and get side control, wow. That's a beautiful grappling sequence from Vasquez there, working himself out of danger, now ending up on top, inside control. Knee on belly. Knee on belly is not a good feeling, David. Knees to the stomach. Knees to the kidneys don't feel good either. Not in the slightest, my friend. Nice takedown defense by, by Vasquez. Face Vasquez, come back out, but Vasquez takes the back. Looking for that choke. He's and got two boots in. He does have the boots, looking for that body triangle, it looks like, but now Valle spins right turns out. into him and reverses the position. Goes right to Vasquez's guard. We have Next. 45 seconds remaining now in this second round. Valle back on top. Now going for a heel hook. Looking for a heel hook, is he? Up against the cage. Fighters right in front of us here at the cage. Valle on top, landing body shots, and now Vasquez looking to use the fence to get up. Looking to wall walk. Excellent Get grappling up. exchanges here from both sides. Beautiful transitions, beautiful. 15 nice. seconds now remaining in the second round as Vasquez is able to get back to his feet. Going but now Valle looking takedown. to send him back down, and he does. But heads up here, Vasquez has a guillotine with eight seconds left in the round. Valle defending wisely here, rolling out to the side, and it looks like he's going to survive. And that will spell the end of the second round. Just an awesome second round from both of these competitors. So the first round very much defined by those heavy exchanges. Both guys throwing heavy leather back and forth. Second round very much defined by advanced grappling exchanges. Wow. Unbelievable. I'm at a loss of words. I mean, the skills that these guys are showing. Wow. An unbelievable night of fights we are getting to see here. Again, this fight is brought to you by Nerd Focus as we look at the replays from the second round. Push him right against the cage, going for that guillotine. Has it in tight, but completes that takedown. Gets his back. Valle with that really nice transition. He had his back given up, but turning into it to take a top position there. Finished the round in that top position after and he sat And another Vasquez takedown. Down. Vasquez going right for the guillotine. That has been his go-to the entire time. An excellent defense by Dan. So if you're in Vasquez's corner, when Valle does go in to shoot there, now that he's done that a couple of times along the fence, are you telling him to look for that guillotine? Do you think that's a way to finish the fight? Or do you want him to more get his hips back and try to stuff the takedown? Personally, stuff the takedown. Every time he's went for the guillotine, Danny, again, is no slouch on the ground, and Danny has been defending well against that guillotine every single time. I didn't see Danny in any danger from those guillotines, so I would just sprawl and brawl. Try to sprawl, try to defend that takedown, and then get his back. As we go to the third and final round. May very well be 1-1 one, one here as here we, we head into the third. Nice high kick from Vasquez, exchanging high kicks. And and there's that shot again from Valle. Goes for a double and completes and the, the double eight. again from Vasquez. Completes the double eight takedown, goes right into side control. It's so smart from Valle. That's happened a couple of times now that he's gotten caught in a guillotine on his way in with those great shots. Getting out to side control, getting his hips out, defending himself well. And Danny knows every time they get into a, a gunslinging battle, Danny knows that when he shoots for that takedown, he's going to get it every single time. Definitely and scoring on the judge's scorecard. And Vasquez now retaining his guard, it looks like. 
as Valle landing body shots. Toss to the body from Danny. Vasquez looking to set something up, looking for some opportunities. Especially when you're on the bottom, it's all about looking for opportunities as he goes for a triangle. That's one of those opportunities you were just talking about, David. Goes it looks like it's triangle. getting close here. He could end this fight. That looks like it's deep. That does look like a deep triangle there. Valle able to spin out of it. What a transition. Well. Unbelievable. And Vasquez ends up on top here. Looking to establish Neon Belly again. And now gets full mount. Vasquez looking to the corner for some instructions. And this lane, the fight. What See, can I be, possibly do to put Danny away? Well, that but, must be a really interesting position for Vasquez and his coaches to be in right now. Top mount is an excellent position, but again, novice rules, you can't land head strikes on the ground. As we see, Valle sweep to top position. And now scoring body shots as Danny's looking to close out this fight. Vasquez looking for something, looking for anything, looking for some way Looks to like end this fight. Looks like he's going to throw up a triangle there again as Valle landing those body shots. Danny's more. Seven. More shots to the body there, Danny right separate in the midsection. Him, Danny separate himself and doing more ground and pound. Valle confident to sit in his in Vasquez's guard here as he's been able to be wise to all of Vasquez's submission attempts so far tonight. If Danny ends this fight on top, he could very well steal this fight. Only and 48 more, seconds remaining in this more, round. More ground and pound. Valle trying to assert his dominance as this is starting to look like it may go to the judges' scorecards. He wants to put a definitive, definitive ending on this as Danny, the crowd is chanting, Danny, Danny. A lot of support here for Valle. Danny looking to close out this show. Has him in tight. Knees to the body. As he's going for that arm triangle there. Trying to get his back. Body. Danny riding a little bit high, but putting in those boots, trying to adjust himself. And now just 10 seconds remaining and as Vasquez, Vasquez sweeps to the top position. Unbelievable. Right into side control as Vasquez trying to put an exclamation mark and give the judges something to think about. Knees to the body to close the fight from Vasquez and there is the final bell. Who won this fight? Beats me, David. <laughs> I have Again, I'll go back to your reference from the last fight. We're the winners for getting to watch such a hotly contested contest once again. Three fights, super close, unbelievable performance. Again, caution to the win. Congratulations to these two warriors for an unbelievable effort on both sides. This fight had everything. Great striking, great wrestling, great takedowns, great submission attempts. And I got a feeling we're gonna be waiting for Drew Park to enter the octagon with the scorecards for quite a while. Again, we're seeing the replays from the third rounds here. And goes right sweep that. there from Vasquez. And this was after he had spent quite a bit of time on his back, but really giving the judges something to think about here in this last minute of the third round. And more ground and pound from Danny, trying to close out the fight with him on top, scoring points. And there we do see Valle landing more ground and pound, but it was Vasquez who finished this round on top. I think he had that sweep with about 15 seconds remaining in the final round. And Vasquez, no quit in him, ends up sweeping him and getting on top. We got to see a little bit of it there. And uh, again, the final 15 seconds of that fight controlled by Vasquez, giving the judges something to think about. Both fighters really trying to give the judges something to think about in that third, laying it all out there on the line. Really an evenly matched fight. And uh, once again, two fights in a row, we don't know who won, it's gonna be a, uh, a tense reveal when Drew Park returns with the scorecards. Big shout out to the matchmaker. I mean, he's putting on some good fights. Yeah, Chris does an excellent job here. You see him in the ring there, or in the cage rather. Still now awaiting the scorecards. It looks like Drew Park has him and we will send it back into the cage with Drew Park. Ladies and gentlemen, after three three main rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard for our decision. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout comes to a split decision. With your winner, 
Danny Valle. So Danny Valle takes a split decision here. Won the fight on two judges scorecards, lost it on one. The fighters come together for an embrace after an unbelievable fight from both guys and the respect has been earned between Valle and Vasquez.